Hello friend, in this video we will discuss the spinal bend. Okay, in the previous video we have discussed the parietal plane. So in this video we will discuss the spinal bend. So here we use the spinal bend. Suppose uh, if you have the bend, uh, you have some like a bend you need to create or like this. So so for this uh, purpose we need, we use the spinal bend. This is not a frequently used command, but for the special applications you can use the uh, bend. So the, uh, where you, you have you need to your solid geometry or the flat portion follow the curve. Okay. So you can see that in the have created one flat portion sheet here and one curve is there. So this curve I have created. So how I have created? So you can see here this curve I have created first first portion is a straight one and after that it is bending so okay so uh, this flat geometry flat flat geometry solid geometry it need to be follow the curve so it will bend like the curve so how we can do that so just go to engineering and then spinal bend okay click on the spinal bend here and here in the here you need to select the spline so in, for that I am selecting the curve here and select the bend geometry so here bend geometry is this one so you can see that there is a uh, it is not showing for bending so you need to change the direction here so this unit is the direction so start direction I want from here so here you can see that so now it is bending like it is solid geometry complete flat geometry is following the curve okay you can say preview or say okay or if you need any any changes in the geometry suppose uh, i am here editing the sketch and i want to be un add another bend suppose here i want to add the another bend here and i am deleting this one and i will add here corner page radius here and here you can see that the another bend is added here so like that you can use this command so now we will see now we will see the different conditions okay so here i have another options here so far, how i have created here so this one is a belt options where i have created following the belt okay so i need to show here so this one how i created these are the number of pulley you can understand okay these are the number of pulleys and on that the belt is moving okay you need to create so this all the pulleys i am hiding here now this one is a complete complete uh, uh, you can uh, you can understood this one is a belt and now i want to follow this belt completely okay so here uh, i have to use the uh, use the spinal bend command so that it will follow the curve okay uh, flat portion follows the curve then engineering spinal bend and then same options here that uh, you can use your spline this one and you need to change the directions okay and in the bend geometry so bend geometry this one it will not show so you, you need to follow the section okay so you can see here you can see here the uh, it will follow the complete complete curve okay so one more update here if we have uh, uh, doing these things so here if you see these uh, pulleys are uh, first must be straight so starting portion must be straight so here suppose i have three uh, so here it is uh, both the diameter is the same so that's why it is a straight so if uh, suppose i have changed these things so 150 so then you can see here the sketch mm, uh, the our uh, following sketch is it's somewhat tilted it is not horizontal now okay so because of that it will it will somewhat move okay so here we need the first portion to be straight so here i'm creating the first portion here straight so here 300 so that it will be first portion is the straight so now you can see that the complete joining of the joining of the bed at the end okay so friend that's it from this video uh, if you like this video you can like share and subscribe the channel and keep learning
keep supporting see you in the next video